Call to order the December 21st, 1999 meeting of the Cape Elizabeth Planning Board. Any comments from members of the board in regards to correspondence received? Hearing none, the first order is approval of the minutes of the previous meeting on November 16th, 1999. Is there any discussion? No. May I have a motion? <clears throat> motion to accept the minutes as written. Second. Motion has been made and seconded to accept the minutes as written. Further discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor, please raise your right hand. Thank you. First item on the agenda is on the consent agenda. Uh, before we get into this, yes. I have to recuse myself from this particular issue. Thank you, Mr. Parkhurst. <clears throat> yep. We've also received correspondence Johnson versus the Town of Cape Elizabeth complaint, Shoreland zoning guideline changes, Greater Port and Council of Governments regional report, fall of 1999. Correspondence from <coughs> Dr. Chapman regarding his access to his new lot on Pilots Point Road. And also a letter received from Kelly, Remmel, and Zimmerman in regards to the private access way for Map U2 on Pilot Point Road, asking that the matter be tabled to the February 2000 Planning Board meeting. Therefore, there is one item on the agenda remaining this evening, and that remains on the consent agenda, Cross Hill Subdivision Amendment, request by Cross Hill LLC for amendments to the previously approved Cross Hill Subdivision located on Wells and Sawyer Roads to correct minor survey errors, section 16-2-5, <coughs> amendment to the previously approved subdivision. <coughs> Maureen, would you like to fill us in on this? Um, Amy Siegel is here in case the board has any questions. The proposal this evening is uh, to do nothing except correct uh, what is being called Scrivener's errors in the original subdivision approval. Um, there's <coughs> approximately two pages of changes to dimensional standards. For example, changing a dimension from 30.12 feet to 30.13 feet, um, and basically two, two pages of changes along those lines. Uh, new recording plats have been prepared, and the applicant's been uh, asked that the board approve these changes. Are there any questions? I, Mr. Emery? I, I don't, I'm not taking this off the consent agenda, although it would be a lot of fun to tease our uh, fellow board member. Uh, I just have a question for Amy in terms of the Scribner errors. Are those uh, related to the layout of the lots within the uh, outer boundary of the property, or was it something that developed out of the uh, overall boundary survey itself? Well, it's my understanding that while they were pinning the lots for the first phase, they found some discrepancies and certain lots not closing. So it's not, it's not the boundary survey itself. It's lot, you know, lot lines mm -hmm. of the new lots. Um, and I, you know, I think it was basically just sort of a drafting error more than mm -hmm. anything else that the physical lines on the drawing, for the most part, didn't change. There's one lot line that got tweaked a little, but they didn't change. They just, yeah. The dimension description wasn't updated. And, you know, as they were going through, they decided when they found those couple of small errors in phase one that they were going to double-check every single line in the subdivision on the drawing. So, and because the project started in 94, 95, you know, things sort of compounded. So they went through and verified all of that. And as Steve Harding had requested, they verified all the square footages and lot areas. So that's all been done. Thank you. Any further questions of Amy? Further discussion of the matter before the board? Mm -hmm. Mr. Emery. If I might, I'd like to make a motion. Uh, be it ordered that based on the plans and materials submitted and the facts presented, the application of Cross Hill LLC for amendments to the previously approved Cross Hill subdivision located off Wells Road and Sawyer Road be approved to the cons as a consent agenda item. Thank you, Mr. Emery. Do I hear it? Thank you, Nancy. Been made and seconded. Is there further discussion from board members? <clears throat> Hearing none, all those in favor, please raise your right hand. 
Passes unanimously. Thank you. Before I, uh, yes, Amy, go ahead. Uh, uh, Maureen, would it be possible to have those mylar signed tonight? Okay. This is going to be the shortest planning board meeting on record by about four minutes. I was also the chair of the second shortest planning <laughs> board meeting. Uh, Mr. McNichols has always been very complimentary of my ability to have short meetings. I would like to announce before we adjourn that uh, Tom Emery and Al McNichols are serving on their last planning board meeting. Uh, I'm going to miss both of them. I wish Mr. McNichols himself would stay a bit longer. It's, it's nice to have an attorney and a judge on the board when it appears this planning board gets sued every other week. It's comfortable to have him in workshops. Uh, I don't know how we're going to replace Mr. Emery. Uh, who's going to look after the trees and the flowers? And, and the birds and the bugs. The birds and the <laughs> frogs and everything else with your ability to do so and do so well where that's how you earn your living. Uh, I've enjoyed serving with both of you. Uh, one of the things that happens when you serve on a municipal board is it's a learning experience. And uh, you don't really necessarily learn from all the audiences, and, but you learn a great deal from the people you serve with. And I thank you both for serving. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, I will entertain a motion to adjourn. Uh, uh, before we, I, yes. I would just like to make a parting comment here, if I might. Go ahead. Um, it has been nine years, and I first and foremost want to thank Maureen for making it a very uh, smooth nine years. I think the fact that we've had almost perfect attendance over my nine-year tenure says a lot for Maureen. Um, the fact that the, the, the packages are well prepared, that the applicants are well prepared, uh, has been very part of it. And I think we all sense that the difficult job she has working both with private applicants and with the general public and with the town as a whole, and it's a very, very difficult uh, situation, it requires the most intact and uh, ability, and, and uh, she served us very well. I also thank all the fellow board members um, who have attended every meeting almost religiously. Um, we come from a very broad background. Uh, learning about Steve's high school career in Cape Elizabeth has been uh, one of the great joys of serving on this board. Every time there's a discussion about a road or something, Steve always, has always brought up the, the history of when he was back in high school. And that's been uh, very, very enjoyable for me. And I guess as a parting thought, not that anyone has asked me for one, but I certainly will offer one uh, because I find myself on the other side of this table as much as uh, behind this type of table, is that um, there's some, I, I think it's important to always remember the, the ordinance are based on the comprehensive plan and that the uh, comprehensive plan represents the public input and the debate in which the uh, council has had, in which the uh, planning board has had, is in developing the ordinances. But I always, <clears throat> I don't think that it's necessary. Uh, sometimes it's helpful, but certainly not at all necessary for one to have a technical background or the ability to to read drawings. But that uh, of utmost importance are the underlying issues, the issues of property rights, both uh, in uh, both applying to the applicant and the abutters. Uh, the issue of public uh, interest of health, safety, and welfare. Foremost and fundamentally, I think, is the issue as, as the applicant comes before us, is it a permitted use? And if it's a permitted use, that implies that it's gone through the comprehensive planning process, that it's gone through the council process, it's gone through the, the uh, planning board review process and has had uh, months of public comment. Is it, if it is a permitted use, does it meet the standards of the ordinance. If it passes that test, I always like to think, what if I were the applicant? How would I want to be treated in this situation? What is fair and what is uh, consistent? And I would say the same for the abutter. If I'm an abutter, what, how would I feel if this project were be, being proposed next to me? And out of that, trying to, to maintain a sense of fairness. And in I did a little, uh, for the judge's benefit, I did a little research and came across the Euclid versus Ampler Company, but I won't quote from that. But I think I found a quote that I really uh, can't pronounce the case, but I thought it really applies to the issue of being on a planning board, and that's uh, the issue of balancing the public and private interests. And I'll just read, zoning law are enacted as they are to promote the health, safety, and welfare of the community as a whole. 
necessarily entail hardships and difficulties for some individual owners. No zoning plan can possibly provide for the general good at the same time uh, uh, so accommodate the private interest that everyone is satisfied. While precise delimit delimitation is impossible, cardinal is the principle that what is best for the body politic in the long run must prevail over the interest of the particular individuals. There must, however, be a proper balance between the welfare of the public and the right of the private owner. I believe it's Shepard versus Gandiatolis, New York, 1949, which was a good year. So, with that, thank you very much. It's been a pleasure to serve the town and to work with this group. Thank you, Tom. Any parting comments, Al? No, I'd just like to uh, thank Maureen. Uh, I suppose it's the mark of a real pro to make it look easy, and she always makes it look easy, and it isn't. It's a pleasure to work with her and all the members of this board. I think it's been a very productive board, and I've enjoyed my time here immensely. Thank you all. Thank you, Al. I'll now entertain a motion to adjourn. Okay. Thank you, Maureen. Uh, it's been strongly suggested to me by our planner that we take up the next item on the agenda and at the request of the applicant, table it into the February 2000 meeting. May I please have a motion from a board member? So moved. Thank you, Nancy. <coughs> and a second? Second. Thank you. Any further discussion by board members? No. All those in favor, please? Thank you. It is unanimous. I can now entertain a motion to adjourn. So moved. Thank you. David? A second? Second. Thank you, Nancy. Moved and seconded. All those in favor, please raise your right hand. We are adjourned. Thank you very much. Well, I'll, I'll be around.